Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and today I'm crafting with the Maracac Mosaic cover die. This is A2 in size, so four and a quarter by five and a half. It will cut out the, um, the border. I just happen to have a panel that's already cut down to size, so I'm going to use that. But um, this will cut down the four borders as well. It is a rather intricate die cut uh, or die. So the sandwich that I'm using, I'm throwing in my metal shim. So cutting plate, magnetic shim, uh, metal shim, double-sided cutting plate, and then regular cutting plate. This is the craft first stack of um, sandwich uh, combination that I'm using. And the Gemini does have a lot of pressure, so this went through one time just fine. And if you are having any sort of difficulty die cutting uh, intricate dies like this, the metal shim definitely helps. Um, trying to put this in at an angle helps, and then rolling it through um, two times, maybe three times, if you're using a manual die cutting machine, uh, that might help as well. And, um, but I didn't have to do any of that because the Gemini did fine with this. And even though all the bits stayed, you know, as you saw earlier, everything is die cut through. So I'm just using my all-in-one tool and, um, die cutting brush on this one end to, this will get most of everything out, but there were still some little areas that I had to individually poke out the bits. But everything did cut through. It just takes a moment to to really clean weed it all out. And as I'm doing this, um, I want to mention that my video today is part of a hop. So do expand the description box below. We've collected all of the videos on this hop into a single playlist. So you can check out the playlist. We are celebrating Crafty Meraki's fourth year in business with the Meraki Versary release. So I hope you'll hop along and celebrate with us, see what my friends um, crafted with from this release. And um, as well in the description box below, you'll also find a rafflecopter link to enter for a chance to win a hundred dollar gift certificate to Crafty Meraki. Yes, a hundred dollar gift certificate. In fact, all month long, um, uh, last month, Crafty Meraki has had several hubs with multiple different opportunities for you to uh, win a $100 gift certificate. And there will be multiple winners. Each hub has its own winners. So do uh, check out and follow Crafty Meraki on their YouTube channel, their Instagram, and blog to find those other hops that were posted earlier um, and, and late last month. And be sure to enter all of those before the deadline. Now, check out this little mini desk vacuum I have. It's the most darling thing, and it really made cleaning up all of those little bits super easy. So I got that from Craft Stash as part of a bundle. Uh, it's by Made to Surprise, but there's a bunch of them on Amazon if you wanted to check out Amazon for um, for those little mini vacuums. They're so cute. Now, one of the things I love about Crafting Meraki is the innovative products that Bindu puts out. My um, cover die that I have die cut, the Marikek Mosaic, is one of several that released this um, with this release. And what's really cool is that it has a coordinating hot foil plate. I don't happen to have that, and so I haven't used that, but the two have been used, uh, designed to be used either in combination with each other or separately, individually. So I'm showing how you can use the cover die individually on its own. But if you were to use the coordinating hot foil plate on a panel, you could layer the two up and you would have some lovely foiling that is revealed underneath the um the panel that has um got that intricate die cut really really lovely and there are several different combinations that you can get with this release so i really love the systems of products that bindu has designed and because you have so many coordinating um pieces it just gives each of your products a little bit more versatility, a little bit more life, because now you can use them by themselves or you can use them in combination with one another so, to give you a different look. And very similarly is the Effortless Artistry Papers, which 
in the beginning, you know, before I tried it, I really didn't get what was so great about it. It just seemed like ephemera to me, printed ephemera, basically. <laughs> but one of the things that you can't really appreciate until you ca- you have it in hand or you just trust somebody um, who's tried it before These are so beautifully colored up because they are not digitally colored. That's the thing that I didn't appreciate when I first uh, saw this product line launch. And, you know, we have four members of the Crafty Meragi design team who colored each of these four different colorways. So Deepa, Irene, Johanna, and Michelle, they are masterful in their coloring and they've given us four different colorways. And you can kind of see that one of them has pinks and purples and then one of them has yellows and orange. So really overall, you're going to have six different colors of roses in multiple different uh, stages of the rose. So you've got like the closed bud, you have the rose just beginning to bloom and all the way to like a very fully bloomed uh, flower. And Of course, you know, all of these different colorways are uh, some of your very basic lovely colors that you would probably reach for. This one's kind of unique. It's the fire and ice uh, rose that has the red and uh, kind of white. Really, really lovely. And one of the things that I feel like is really awesome is that you don't have to spend any time coloring it yourself. And really, the the thing that took the longest on my card was picking which ones to use and then picking the arrangement. But I think that's part of the fun of it, right? It's because I have so many elements. You can see all of the different, um, you know, colors, the different size buds that I have. And, and this is the fun part is of having like so many different options and then just getting to pick and choose what you want to craft with. I, I think that's awesome. So as you saw a moment ago, the um, papers have a coordinating die that will In this case, there's a single die plate that cuts them all out at one time, which is awesome. This particular EAP doesn't actually have any sentiments, which is kind of unusual because the other ones that I have do come with sentiments. So I pulled my sentiment today from Orchid Opulence, which is another of the most recent EAPs to release. And what's really fabulous is that I talked about, you know, the... Marrakech mosaic cover die in combination with the hot foil plate and how that's like a coordinated system. Well, the EAP is on a similar system of products. So there's the EAP paper, so the paper pad. So that gives you your 24 sheets of, you know, pre-colored, hand-colored, alcohol ink-colored images, coordinating die to cut those out. But if you wanted to stamp and cut out your own images, there's a coordinating stamp that goes with it. So that's really fabulous because then you can um, color up when you have the time, you know, flowers in whatever color you would like. So I love that you could use the stamp by itself if you wanted. You You could just buy the EAP papers and fussy cut if you wanted. But if you get the die and you have the stamp and you have the EAP, then everything is really easy because it all is designed to go together. If you needed to, um, you know, stamp out a few more leaves, for example, you could easily do that. If you wanted to um, maybe do some fun techniques where like a little bit of spotlight coloring, you could just use one of the pre-colored images, stamp out some more of the flowers just in black and white and some more leaves in just black and white and do a bit of really easy spotlight uh, coloring. So fabulous without actually really having to do any coloring at all. So the dye is going to work with the papers and with the stamp set. And it's just great when you have everything because each of the products, you know, you can kind of use the stamp by itself. You can use the papers by themselves. But when you have everything together, then you can really start to stretch your supplies and create some really fun different looks. So I just um, 
finished my card off with some of these uh, really fun gemstones that are iridescent. So they pick up, they pick up a lot of the purples and a lot of the blues on this card, which I really love. And I, I just had a blast crafting with this. Thanks for checking out my video today. Don't forget to expand that description box and click on the link to the playlist to see everybody else's video. And of course, click on that raffle copter link to enter for a chance to win a $100 gift certificate to Crafty Meraki. Thanks again. And until next time, happy crafting and have a fabulous day. Bye.